Um, so we had a had a demo late last year, I think it was. Um, when was it December? Um, with um, some improvements to users and the ability to actually um, secure roles and what have you. Uh, there were a few changes requested, so just coming back with some of the changes. Um, so, on the right hand side of the screen here, um, I've, I'm logged in as the admin user. Um, and as you can see, I've got permissions on everybody. Um, and I've got a few users created here, which only belong to certain roles. Um, so this one is, is only part of the editor role. And when logged in as him, on this left-hand side here, um, I can still see all the users. Um, but if I picked one, that is the moderator. So you have to bear with me because I have to remember exactly what I did here. Um, but we have the ability to edit this user, um, but the only role that I can assign is the editor role because this is the only permission that this current logged in user has in terms of assigning um, and also have rights at the moment to enable and disable them, um, but that's configurable by a role as well. Um, so there's only some users that I can delete, users that are in all the roles that, um, or that are only in the roles that I can manage. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much it. It's, it's what we were looking at it previously. Let me run through the, the permissions that you can see as well now. Um, so if we go to, then we have permissions to manage users, which is kind of the overarching permission and that you can do everything with that. Um, you have permission to view users, which is just to give you access to the list. Um, and then you have permissions to manage the users. Um, managing means being able to delete them, to disable them, to change their email address, to reset their password. Um, and then you have permissions to be able to assign roles to users. Um, so if you have the assign editor role, you can just assign editor to everybody. Um, so the idea was to give you the ability to kind of delegate um, some of the work that goes with managing users to, to another um, another user, but not give them too many permissions to um, actually go and you know lock you out of the system as the administrator, for example. Um, yeah, so that's what we ended up with. Um, well, so that is perfect. Thank you. Very common to to be a user that can only manage a specific group of when they're users. It's like I'm the editor manager. So I can only manage within the editor group and remove, add people, change their usernames, things like this. Thank you very much. So is it merged when? Um, no, it's not merged. I just wanted to, because it's slightly different to what we originally talked about, wanted to run, run it past everybody and see if they um, had any issues with it. Um, obviously, you see all the users here when you're, you're logged in with restrictions, but you can, um, you can only do certain things to them. Um, so we'll probably merge it soon if nobody has any objections. So you took into consideration all the comments we made last time? Uh, yeah, I think so. Perfect. That's <laughs> Looks good to me, so I don't see anything. So unless you cheat, you are cheating us and not mentioning something we said. And, but it looks good. In terms of permissions, I think that was a discussion. What kind of permissions? Granularity, like the manage roles and uh, assign people in roles. Cool. Yeah, I think it's it's mostly covered. It, it should provide enough flexibility, and if, if it doesn't, we can always um, we can always add some more. Um, Something that is unrelated to that, and I see might miss, is under each permission describe what it means. We use the generic terms like manage 
you know, manage view and stuff like that, manage meaning everything. But when you explain that, like what does mean, what does manage users in all moderator mean? That, 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 that might be interesting so that sometimes sometime to, to add a description to explain what it does, because people might not realize that's what they want. You know, like they don't know, like they want to do something and they go into this screen like intuitively and maybe it's not obvious that this is a the, the, the checkbox to tick and that's what they want because uh, manage users in role moderator, I don't know. But if we wrote what it, that, what it did exactly, maybe it would be better. Um, yeah, no, I would probably agree with that. There's a lot of confusion around how permissions work and what effective means and stuff like that. I think that there's, also. there's a lot of really good documentation written for O1 um, around this, the around permissions and what have you, which we should probably try and get into the Orchard core documentation mm. um, because it, it translates reasonably well and um, and all the work's already been done there. So. Okay. That would be good to bring over, I think. Yeah, people ask for what is a low effective. Why can't I uncheck effective? <laughs> and nobody understands that one, but it's it's all right there in the orchard. Oh, well, you do, you do, right? Tell me, you do. Oh, I think so. Um, okay, it confuses good. me every time when I go oh, there. But, um, I have to think about it. 